let's see, you just made this, yeah, public, yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> it's a trip to see all this uh, stuff that it puts up there. Um, it feels like my camera's kind of zoomed in right now or something. I don't, know. I don't know if there's any sort of way to control that, but you're going to be a little disappointed in me. I've got a Miller Lite in the aluminum bottle. Um, you know, sometimes you just got to do it. You know what I'm saying? And and I'm actually going to do it out of the bottle. <laughs> Hopefully we don't get a beer emergency here. I don't think we will. Um, I, I have to admit, what I do... I, I'm not, a, you know, a particularly a Miller Lite fan, of course, right? Because it's just, you know, it's your typical light lager. Oy. But what I am a big fan of is... Um, this bottle. I love this wide mouth aluminum bottle. I just love it. I, I like the fact that I can have a beer and then just reseal it. It's just super easy. You know what I'm saying? To reseal it. And I've resealed these and and, and they work about as well as a growler. You know, you, you have uh, at least a day or two. But hey, you know, sometimes you crack a beer and you know, you're just not feeling it, you know? Especially these damn things. But the aluminum does keep it colder, so that's a good thing. Ah. And it is kind of refreshing when it is hot outside, you know what I'm saying? So, I know, a little disappointed in me with the uh, Miller Lite. But <clears throat> I do love these aluminum bottles, the wide mouth aluminum bottles. Um... And then, too, also, I have a very gently aged, <laughs> okay, a very gently aged 9.5% uh, ABV uh, Samuel Adams Double Bock. And you can tell it's uh, an older version because they haven't had this labeling in a little while. Um, so I'm kind of interested to see what, <clears throat> what what it'll be like now. It's at least been a year, so uh, I am kind of curious to see, you know, what it'll be like um, after a year of uh, sitting in my beer fridge. I've got a, a beer fridge in the garage, and then I've... Hey, Mark, what's hey, up, Jeff. brother? How's it going? I was just um, talking about my gently aged... Uh, Samuel bought uh, <laughs> Samuel Adams double box. I heard one year. I heard uh, one year in the refrigerator. Yeah, one year in the beer fridge. Um, so uh, we'll see. You know what it's like here. I'm gonna let it. You, you can see I just took it out, so it's full of condensation. All it. right. It's got to reach temperature first, but 9.5 ABV. Uh, so we'll see what what it's changed like. Uh, All right. Right now, I'm having a Miller Lite in the aluminum wide mouth bottle, right out of the bottle too. I'm, All right. I'm doing full, uh, you know, trampage here, beer, beer <laughs> trampage. Yeah, that's what you could call it, huh? Beer trampage. Yeah, you're such a beer tramp. Oh. Yeah, beer tramp. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So that's a 16 ounce can. The, the big 16-ouncer, and, and as you know, Mark, I'm not necessarily a fan of Miller's Light as much uh -huh. as I am this bottle. Okay. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you, you are a sucker for marketing. I'm a sucker for it. Plus the fact that I can reseal. It's kind of like a little mini growler. I can uh -huh. reseal this, yeah. put it back in the fridge, and, and, and they maintain for at least a, a, you know, a couple days. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, I'm, I'm kind of going down the same path as you here tonight, Joe. I got... Um, I'm going a little old school nostalgic right now. Um, I've got, I picked up a six pack of the banquet beer. Oh boy. <laughs> banquet. But if you notice, it says commemorative can. So this is, um, they're going back to some of their old commemorative uh, cans. This is, um, where is it? Where does it say? This is number one out of... Now, this is can number three. So a six-pack has a few different cans in it. 
Um, and I'm going with my old school Coors glass. This is um, this is the tasting glass from the Coors Brewery tour that uh, Pam got in I think 1972. So this is for, about 40 years old at this point. She drank the uh, Rocky Mountain spring water out of this one because she, she was only eight <laughs> at the time. But uh, um, but uh, so yeah, this is my old school glass, and I think it does hold a full 16 ounces. So um, so I got that, and then I'm doing. Oh, you're muted. Have you muted yourself, Joe? I can't hear you. Yeah. I, oh, I was oh, wondering. There you go. Because. You know, you said what was that, seventy eight, and I was like, gosh, you, you know, seventy two. Seventy two. I'm like, yeah, yeah, man, she looks great for her age. You know what I'm yeah, saying? She looks great for seventy, doesn't she? <laughs> yeah, that's the youngest seventy yeah. I've ever seen. Well, she's not here, so um, that's how I can say that. I, I, I would have about had something thrown at me at this point. <laughs> There'd have been a magical shoe coming in that yeah. door behind us. So I went old school with the cores, and then I went new school Colorado beers. I picked up uh, some New Belgium Triple. Ah, so I have not had that one. Oh, it's it's a good Belgian beer, but I'm gonna I'm gonna dig in. I'm gonna open up this Coors here. Yeah, the Coors you have to eat. you can't mess around. You have to get to that immediately, so it's when it's cold. Yeah, yeah, and it's right out of the fridge. And that's the same thing with this Miller Lite. It's, yeah. there, there's no use of me even me pouring it. I figured, you know, I might as well have it out of the bottle. Yeah, so I couldn't figure what I was gonna have for dinner tonight, so I figured. I'd have a banquet. Yes. <laughs> Might as well have everything. Have the whole banquet. That's right. Well, you, you uh, know, there's, there's something to be said for original Coors, though. Oh you man, know, it's not yeah, a bad was, beer, really. This was this was the first cult beer, probably. Yeah, man. I mean, I mean, everybody really. east of the Mississippi wanted to bring everybody to bring back Coors. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, you're yeah. right, man. It had a it had a cult um, following, like you my, said. My first, my first two years of college. Uh, when I went back for the holiday, you know, I drove back to Pittsburgh for the holidays of the summer. I filled up the back of the vehicle with uh, with cases of Coors. So yeah. I was a boot I was a bootlegger back in the day. It, it's Smokey and the Bandit, you know, the whole nine, man. Everything's all about the old school yeah. Coors. Mm. Except I don't know, they would have caught us pretty easy because my fr my freshman year, a buddy and I drove back to from Colorado to Pittsburgh in a 1948 Willys Jeep. He had a 1948 Willys Jeep, top speed, 40 miles an hour. <laughs> no way. Oh, and the brakes were bad. The gas tank had a leak in it. So it was it was just a great trip. Oh, wow. No way. I can't even imagine that. Can you imagine how many people honked at us on I-70? Maximum speed, 40 miles an hour. Oh, my God. Oh, this... Yeah. So, um, so this is um, typical adjunct lager. It's slightly sweet. Uh, I think they use corn as the adjunct in this instead of um, instead of rice. A um, little sweet, but it's got a, a little crispness at the end. It's very it's very crisp beer. And it's got a little bit of body to it. It's not really I mean it's thin, but it's not super watery. I mean it does have a little bit of um, malt flavor with a little bit of that grain sweetness. I think like I said, I think it's corn, but. Okay. Uh, the head went away to nothing really fast. Um, yeah. I mean, and I, I mean, it's a classic. I mean, they've been brewing beer since 1932 or something like that. Um, you know, so, and the can's cool. I mean, yeah, you got the the Mountain Spring Water. Um, this is America's fine beer. Adolph Coors, Golden, Colorado. Now, now, from what what time period does that can represent? This can. Uh, let's see. Doesn't say. Oh, wait a minute. Commemorative 1977. Hmm. This is 1977 Heritage Camp. Wow. This is what it looked like in 1977. It, it it just seems like it's not too much different. Is it bigger or something? What I wonder what the no, difference. No, I is. think the um I think the logo is different. I think the banquet thing is the uh. the, the font is different. Um. I think this is a lot bigger. You know the the stream. Okay. I'll have to go down and get the six pack because I the, I had one of these on Sunday, and it was can number one. So maybe I'll go down and grab that. But so is that is that represent that six pack representing like a whole era 
or is it that whole six pack representing from maybe the beginning of the 70s or something until now? Or no, I think um, I have to go and take a look. It doesn't. The six pack didn't have anything special on it, so I just picked it up. And when I got home, I was looking at the can. I'm like, oh, commemorative can. I didn't even I didn't even realize it. Oh. Uh, but the first can I had had commemorative can number one. Okay. Uh, and it's still downstairs, so I'm gonna have to. Speaking of cans, look who we got here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Gary. You know? <laughs> and I got a can. And he's got a can. All right. Yay. All right. What are you drinking there, Gary? It's Welcome back, man. It's, been a, it's a couple months since you've Yeah, I know, that. man. I know. Yeah, I, I miss this night. You know, there have been a lot of reasons, but hey, I, I think I'm back for now. So. All right. Oh. Yeah, Ooh. hey, you know. You, you always welcome back. You know, that's the thing. Yeah. So now, now this is going on YouTube live, huh? Live stream. Yeah. This is awesome. We are live streaming. We have three viewers right now, um, and then it gets uploaded to YouTube automatically. It's just, it's, it's great. Yeah. yeah that's pretty cool. Yeah. So no dirty jokes tonight, Derek. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, you don't have a bleeping thing on your side? No, man. So just you know, go for it. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Oh, you got a can of something. What is that? I, I have a, an aluminum bottle of Miller Lite. Um, oh. You know, mostly because of the bottle. I love this wide mouth aluminum bottle. So I'm trying, yeah. I try to support it every once in a while. Yeah. yeah, I like those too. You can actually reseal them, I guess, if you, that, know, if, if you need to. That, that's what I like about it. I, I, I just, I'm not a particularly a Miller Lite fan, a Miller anything fan, really. It's just that... I love this bottle, and I actually, you know, technically, this is a Coors product. So, yeah, because yeah, right. Coors Coors Light has the same bottle. Yeah. So. I'm drinking the uh, Coors uh, Banquet Beer, 16 ounce, there, Gary. Wow. So wait a minute, is this like a can night? Did I luck out and bring a oh, can? We, it's just, it, it's just total. Uh, it's oh. total coincidence, yeah. Because okay. uh, we didn't discuss uh, uh, cans at all. No, there's no theme at all. No theme well, at all. It's not yeah. that kind of can, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, not not the can that I just left. You know, th th this can right here. Okay. <laughs> uh. But yeah, no, th th there's no need for me to review a Miller Lite. I mean, it is what it is. Uh, you know, it's water with uh, some uh, color added to it. Yeah. Um, and and they, I don't know, they throw in a few shots of something to to make it five percent something. Yeah, yeah. I think this is. Um, Although it is 96 calories. Yeah. Well, okay. you know, uh, if if we can bring the can discussion a little bit further. Sure. Um, I was not at this convention, but we have a metal decorating convention once a year, and uh, I'm usually not privileged to go to it. But someone who did go to it said they had a couple of speakers. One guy was the guy from Oscar Blues. Oh, okay. And, and then there was another brewer, and he was up there talking to these can makers about all the advantages of uh, putting craft beer into cans. Yep. So uh, it, was, it was really cool that, that they, you know, they're getting, they're getting out there to the market and they're actually talking about the advantages of it. Absolutely. Think, we're going to see more and more. Oh, oh I, really absolutely! I, you already are. I mean, yeah, every, I'm seeing quite a few. Yeah. yeah, every month it just seems like you're seeing yeah. uh, at least one more beer. One yeah. craft beer, craft beer yeah. wise, you're seeing one more beer at least that that is being offered. Uh, yeah. You know, alongside or in exchange for the bottle. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So what? Um, so is the cost of putting in a canning line a lot more expensive than a bottling line? That's what I I've heard. Mm. But wow, see, I, I don't know how that compares to the bottling line. But I would think that once you got it in there, the cost of shipping yeah. cans is a I lot less so. expensive because cans are lighter so. and they're more compact. Yeah. Because that's what it is. They have their bottling equipment in there, and, and they don't see the big need to switch out right away. But, mm -hmm. you know, maybe eventually when it gets old, they'll replace it with cans. Who knows? Yeah. But there's more and more that are coming out with cans, which is fantastic. Yeah. Hey, hey Gary. Um, so let's say they're all set up with cans. Okay, I'm trying to understand how this might work for a smaller uh, Oscar Blues, maybe. Um, 
do they are they getting their cans empty already? You know, coming in and shipments and trucks, or are they making them right there? Do you, do you have any idea? Um, I would imagine they're getting them shipped in empty, shipped in on trucks. Yeah. It, and, and and would they be already labeled or or? Yeah, picked? they they would be already printed and everything because okay. they they would not be able to do that at the at the brewery level. Okay. Okay. So, so that they that come just in eliminates and and they have uh they call them straight walled so there's no cap and what it is is just uh straight up on the side straight up and then it gets filled and then they have the machine that actually um, puts on the lid. Okay. So, okay. So they cap the can essentially. This little thing on top yeah. gets capped on there. Okay. And, and I'm okay. sorry, it's not straight walled, but there is a lip, but there's no lid. So all they do is they fill it and put the lid on. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, here you go, Joe. I found. I'll share this screen. Uh, I'm on the Coors site. Okay. Uh, and this is the cans um, <clears throat> that they Oh, have. there we are. Yeah, awesome. Okay. So this one here is the one I'm drinking now, this 1977 one. It, uh, so are you pointing to the first one? That Which one, one right there. Yeah, quite, quite that silly. one that's, that's bigger. Oh, maybe. Yeah. That, uh, let's see here. Let me get back to the real one. I'll, uh, I'll get you the. There it is. That's this. That's the one. There, that can there, the big one, is the one I'm drinking now, okay? That's a 1977 can. Um, How did you get a 1977 can? Um, it's a commemorative uh, six-pack where they have different oh. cans from the different end. All right. So that one's a 77. This is the one I had, I think, uh, this one was the one of the other ones that was in the six pack that I got um, that was can number one I think so okay now I'm seeing that there was some lag for me for a little okay. bit so yeah that I haven't seen this one yet in my six pack so I don't but I haven't looked at all the cans yet so you see that one now that's pretty cool so the, so there, the, the, there's four cans in there mm-hmm now that's you know that sounds awfully similar to a campaign that Budweiser had. It's already been several years ago. Okay. And I've got two cans, and they were supposed to have a four can series. The first can was the, the very first Budweiser in the can, the oil can. I mean the oh, one okay. that we had to. Okay. And it, and it simulates that one. All and right. then um, there's. Uh, Another can, and I forget the year of that one. And it was supposed to be four in the series. All right. They never finished it. Okay. So yeah. I'm I'm glad that they uh, are. You know, Coors has just put out all of them at once, and then that. Yeah, and I think they they've got this four can set. Uh, click on the cans to read about the history. All right. I don't know. <laughs> I can't get. I can't read the history. Let's see. Click cans to enlarge. I don't know. But yeah. So anyway, it's kind of cool. Yeah. That they that they've got the uh, the different cans. Uh, the beer still tastes the same, even though the cans may be neat. The beer is still <laughs> it's still coarse. Nothing, well, yeah. nothing special. <laughs> but it is it is better than some. I think it's better than Budweiser. I you know I think regular Budweiser, regular Coors. I think Coors wins a little bit. Yeah, well, just because Budweiser's bigger to me doesn't mean that it tastes any better. Mm -hmm. um, oh. But uh, yeah, because I think I think uh, regular Coors, um, you know, does taste a little better. You know, yeah. at, at least once you revisit it, you know, you're, um, you know, I think it does taste a little better. Yeah, you know, and I, you know, I think you know, you got the old school can with the old school glass. Well, I mean, you know, it's a little, little reminiscing, so maybe it makes it taste a little better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, I, I wish, I wish like Hal Budweiser would have finished that uh, campaign. I, gosh, it has to be at least an easy seven years ago. Okay. Um, 
if I remember right. And uh, I would show you the cans, but I have them in the garage, uh, mm -hmm. in in the man cave. So yeah, maybe I'll run down and grab the uh, grab the six pack and see what the other ones are, but. Uh, that one it went down fast. That's for sure. Yeah, same thing with the, yeah. You know what? These cannot be big enough. I swear to God, this one's 16 yeah. ounces, and and I'm one swallow from it being gone already. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and I've been milking it. I mean, this could have been mm -hmm. done. Well, I went I went I went through the 16 ounce in 30 minutes. So <laughs> it's just you know, and when it's cold, it's very drinkable. But as it warms up, I mean, it falls apart so fast. Yeah. You know what? I don't give a damn what anybody says. These beers from the from the macro breweries are are big for a reason because it, you know it's hot outside here too. It's ninety, mm -hmm. um, and on hot days like this, of course we're not as humid as you are, but on hot days like this, man, mm -hmm. these beers you can crush them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, they they serve you know. a purpose. I mean, they're um, they're fizzy. They're they're crisp. Uh, they've got a little bit of kick. I mean, if you want to, you know, put down three or four when you're out with your buddies or whatever. I mean, uh, it's you can just, shotgun them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. I mean, if you have to have alcohol in you now, mm -hmm. uh, the only thing quicker would just IV it. Yeah. That would be the only thing quicker, just the IV the beer. You just uh, put it directly into the vein. Just IV uh, the beer. Yeah. yeah I uh, man, that it just brings back bad me well, good memories and bad memories <laughs> from college. Hey, how, how about that new can? I think it's Miller Lite, where you open the top and then you take your key and you puncture the other part of the lid. Have you seen that? No. No. You're not getting that commercial where you guys are? No. It, I'm, I'm telling you, it's made for shotgunning. And it's <laughs> it's on, you open up the top, and then you take your key, and there's another place on the lid to punch it. There's like a press out. Okay. And you push it through, and then you, it says you can pour real smooth. Oh. You don't get any, uh, you know, back drag. Or you don't get any of the glugging. Or the glug, 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 yes. Glug, glug. Yeah. Really? Coors, Coors yeah. has the wide mouth opening, so you know that eliminates that. Yeah, well, you know what? Coors has always been the wide mouth company. I, I think that's the reason for the wide mouth aluminum bottle. Mm -hmm. um, no, I've never heard of that, Gary. That, that that's pretty interesting, man. Maybe they're, maybe they're not selling it in your areas. Yeah, but maybe that's I'm it. seeing the commercial all the time up here. Wow, huh. is it pri uh, primarily on the sports channels? Uh. Do you notice, yeah. like, during basketball or something? Yeah, I, I think it is. I'm, I'm, you know, I don't watch that many sports events, so oh. I'm trying to think what else it would be on. Yeah. NASCAR. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> Home repair shows. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it would have to be something kind of manly. I mean, yeah, something kind of guy, really. Yeah. yeah. Well, of I course, mean, I it, only watch the manly stuff, you know. That's right. I'm sure, it, I'm sure it doesn't yeah. come on on oh, my sofa. I'm a, I'm a yeah. big Dr. Oz fan. Yeah, I watch not, Dr. Oz every yeah. day. He's not going to tell us about his, his dedicated Dr. Oz deal yeah. uh, during the share of beer, that's for sure. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so, yeah. Okay, 5%. Coors Banquet is 5%. Yeah, all, all these beers, I think, are... And it gets, a, it gets a pour on Beer Advocate, so... A pour? No. Pour, which means pour some more into your glass, right? <laughs> That's what that means. Yeah. They, you know, <laughs> these beers are have gotten to the size they are, uh, mostly because they've been around forever. Yeah. And yeah. and because, like, you know, they're, they're sweet, whether, mm -hmm. whether a lot of people want to admit it or not, they're sweet. Um, they they are you know kind of thin. They go they're crisp. They go down super yeah. easy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you can yeah. actually drink them without liking beer because that's why some people try craft beer and they say, oh, there's so much flavor. Yeah, like that's a bad thing. You know, they they like them to be watery sometimes. Yeah. Well, they really do because it, typically you tell someone, let's say you're you're into craft beer, and the typical response you'll get from a uh, a, a non-beer drinker or, or or someone that just drinks one of the big ones will we'll say, well, I don't really like darker beers. Yeah. Yeah. 
you know. Yeah, and, and and it's because you know if if they if they don't drink the beer at at thirty two uh, point something degrees, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll, you know, filled the, the whole you know first inch of the glass filled with ice, and um, <laughs> the the rest of it just lined with lime and all kinds of other crap. Uh, you know, they, they just can't drink it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, speaking of craft beer, I'm going to open up my other one, my other Colorado beer. I had, I had, I went old school Colorado beer with Coors, exactly. and now I'm going new school Colorado beer with uh, New Belgium yeah, yeah. Triple. All it's right, there you go. Opposite end of the spectrum. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and, and then I have my my opposite as well. My that, that is funny. Beer. We were thinking along the same lines there. That's funny. So, what you got there, Joe? What's your what's your opposite beer? Mine is the Sam Adams Gently Aged oh, that's right. yeah. Double Block. Ooh. It's like Parallel Universe Beer Night or something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of funny. All right. So let's see what we got here for this triple. Pouring it in my uh, New Belgian glass. Now, what's the ABV on that, Mark? Uh, the ABV is 7.6, I think. Okay, I would think it would be higher for a triple. 7.8%. It's a Belgian triple, ale brewed with coriander, which a lot of Belgian beers are brewed with. Yeah. But nice honey color, off-white head. Fluffy oh, head, too. Got that classic Belgian uh, aroma. You kind of get um, a little bit of earthy, a little bit bready, biscuity. There's a little bit of lemon in there, citrus. Mm. Mm. Sounds great. Mm. And you can really taste the coriander on the um, when you drink it. You really don't get the coriander on the aroma. It, maybe I have had that. I'm, I'm trying mm. to think. Man, it's been New it's, Belgium. It's, wow. This is like the the triple is kind of like if if Coors went to Belgium and and stayed there for six months and decided to brew real beer. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Hmm. Uh, it's, I, I've had this before, and it's just a solid, I mean, it's just a very drinkable. It's got a lot of flavor. It's got a little bit of sweetness, um, that floral that you get from the coriander, a little bit of crispness. No, it's not real hot, no hot bitterness, really, but Belgian triples don't really have a lot of that. Um, mm, good carbonation. Mm. Nice. You make it sound good. I'm personally not a big fan of coriander. Yeah, I know you're not and, a... And even a, Belgium's for that. So yeah, Belgian okay. styles is not your favorite. I know that. Yeah. Yeah, but it, it does sound good. Me mm -hmm. neither. Yeah, but I, I can appreciate the yeah. style. Yeah, it's absolutely. Just, uh, I'm yeah, not, you I'm can not definitely taste the coriander in this. Um, it's there, 100. percent oh, uh, you know what? Isn't that one of the beers that New Belgium's canning in a tall can? That I don't know. Um, hmm. I know they're doing fat tire. Fat and tire, they off. do. Yeah, I I think that might have, might be one of the beers that they're canning. I'm gonna okay. look that up. I'm gonna have to look it up. Yeah, I was looking. I was on Beer Advocate. I've got to take. I'll go back to New Belgium and see. But um, good stuff, New Belgium, from the old hometown of Fort Collins. Mm. It was oh, funny. I, I picked up I picked up this six pack of Coors and and Pam and I were talking. I'm like, you remember? Probably the last time we drank a ton of Coors was they used to have a thing at, at uh, Colorado State in Fort Collins called College Days. It was maybe second week in April or something like that, where they'd bring in literally tractor trailer trucks full of uh, kegs of Coors, okay. and they'd line up tables and everybody would just you'd get free beer, and then they would have bands playing. And the last college days that were there, I think was 1986, and we just, uh, it was like a three-day drunk, pretty much. Um, but the, the Red Hot Chili Peppers played uh, college days in 19, it was 1986, so. Oh, wow. They were just, just coming up through the ranks. Yeah. It was the Red Hot Chili Peppers, and you may remember this, the Beat Farmers, you ever hear of that band, Gary? Beat Farmers? The Beat, Beat Farmers. No. Uh, they were kind of like an alternative, I don't know what they were, punk, western, oh, they were just a party band. 
and wow. a college party band. And the lead the lead singer was named Country Dick Montana. <laughs> he, had, he had like you know, he had the duster, the cowboy duster coat on, and oh no, it was okay, a huge party. Yeah. It was the shift, New Belgium shift. Yep, I've seen That's that. That's the one I'm thinking of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I haven't is. even heard of that one. Yeah, I've been seeing it like crazy. And it's a good, it's a good, um, it's a good beer. I picked up a uh, a six pack of that a couple weeks ago. Okay, they've got. It looks like uh, it's three, it's three, it's a three pale beers. Water. There's the Ranger or something like that. Ranger's yeah. good. Yeah, Ranger is a good IPA. That's comparable to like Torpedo. The yeah. Shift and the Fat Tire. Yeah. So the Triple doesn't say it's canned. Yeah, seven point eight percent. Only hey, it's only two hundred and twenty calories a bottle, so that's good. Sweet. Wow. <laughs> Oh, drink a tall pack. All right. Wow. So it's between that and a steak. Let me see. Yeah. Uh, how about both? Why can't you have both? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, why not? Why you not? know, <clears throat> go you for it. up with some chocolate cake. I mean, really. You know, what's an hour on the treadmill? Screw it. You know? Yeah. You just don't eat for a week. You're fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know the rest I of the week. I had a steak at Longhorn tonight. I had met with uh, some guys for work, and... Uh, I got the six ounce though. Okay. You know, I had a choice of six, eight, or twelve, and I went for the six. I said, okay. well, I might have some beers later, so I'll get the six. That thing was tiny. <laughs> oh yeah, six it ounce. Probably oh, smaller than your fist. They, they say a really portion is the size of your fist. Dude, but, that's yeah. a dessert steak. What are you kidding me? But at least it was wrapped with bacon. That's for the steak you have after you have steak. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's that's for the you know that's when you have a steak. Oh, was it was it a fillet or or what was what it was, was a the, sirloin? Uh, okay, all right. Yeah, bacon. you have a six ounce sirloin after you have like a sixteen ounce New York strip. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's what I'm talking yeah. about. Uh, mm. Yeah, that's what I'm talking. Wow, about. this is a this is a really good beer. I mean, I I I like Belgian ales to begin with and. Uh, it's just the salt. This is the third time I've had this beer over about a mm. eight month period, and it it's just every time it's just spot on. Okay, I have one kick ass glass from a great brewery, nice hoppy brewery, oh, Dow Brewery. Yep. It, if if anything, this this glass alone will give this Sam Adams tons of flavor. Oh, it will. Yeah. Wow. I guarantee. You know what I'm saying. You know the what? glass alone is worth like 50 IBUs. Oh, yeah. Don't put that in the dishwasher. I need to see that beautiful orange <laughs> fade away. Look at that. That That is that is just, Odell Brewing is just one hoppy brewery, man. They are, they are excellent. Yeah, they do. They do hops well. I can't kind of like get the Sierra Nevada of uh, Colorado. Yeah. Wow. They're really into hops. Yeah, they're they're everything's hoppy. It's it's a yeah. great. That's that's Gary's brewery, man. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get my my uh, my what is now a sloppy towel. I'm trying to get mm -hmm. ready for the uh, for the bottle opening here because I don't. It's a gently aged mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Samuel Adams, which is now a, a closer to temperature. I, I still don't think it's quite temperature, but that's a little over a year old now, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my! No smoke. Little little smoke, if anything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, we poured some. There was yep, just a did. little got, bit of smoke moving. Got smoke on the pour. We we poured some though. That's awesome. I'm gonna force a head out of this beer. I swear to God. Oh yeah. Oh, that should be a really malty beer, I would think. With a double bock. Mm. I damn near. You know what? I I'm gonna pour it all in there. I damn near. Yeah, there we are. Good. Okay. A really malty beer. We we've got some little sediment floating around in there. Okay. <clears throat> I don't quite know what that's all about, but e um, huh? E vitamins. E it's E vitamins. It's um, what do you call that? <laughs> what do you call that? Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, shoot, E vitamins and uh, uh, not. Oh darn it! I'm losing my whole train of thought. It's basically just yeast crap that's floating. <laughs> around. You know, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it is still a nice, beautiful color. Mm -hmm. It looks like a, you know, 
It looks pretty thick and heavy. It, it mm -hmm. feels very heavy in the glass. It's got a little uh, bit of red to it, a dark, like a dark yeah. copper color. Yeah, exactly. It looks yeah. like it might be chewy. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think I think we're gonna do a little more chewing than uh, <laughs> you know. I I think you have to chew this twenty times before you swallow. <laughs> oh man, the sweetness right now coming out of this bad boy is insane. Oh. My goodness, tons of like a nice, uh, very sweet, roasty. Not so roasty though. Uh, it, well, not not like a smoky roastiness. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Uh, oh my goodness, a little uh, caramelly. Mmm, and then a little kind of bready, if you will, at the same time. Yep. yep. Oh man, just an amazing smell. Yeah. You know, those those box box are very good. They they kind of you get a lot of that like smoked malt, little smoky malt. Oh my goodness! You know what? Forget about it. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, this is way better than what I remember it tasting when I got it fresh. Okay, I can believe that. Way After sitting better. around for a while, you kept that in your fridge the whole time, right? The whole time. Okay. Oh yeah, man. The whole time. All right. It's, it's been in the beer. That? You know. <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> Were you like behind the mayonnaise guy or something? out of mind. <laughs> yeah, it's like, you know what? I don't, uh, I'll, truth be told, I, I'm not hanging in my uh, man den as much as I used to. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so my beer fridge, if I put something in there, I can kind of forget about it, especially because I have to stack so many beers in there now. If I put it on the bottom of one of the shelves that's in there, and I've yeah. got like a pyramid going, yeah, it'll it'll just yeah. get lost in there. So, yeah, that's actually how pure accident. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, With that all that sense. said, it's still a pure accident. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, sometimes so, it's better to be lucky than smart. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, because all my other beers are cellared. In a in a closet at the bottom of a dark closet and mm -hmm. not in the fridge. Uh, this one just happens to be a pure accident. <laughs> it's like winning the lottery. You know what I'm saying? Every once in a while, you're like, "Whoa, look at that! That's cool." <laughs> but yeah, so it is. If I put something in the beer fridge, it can last for a little while because I'll put most of the beers that I'm going to drink now right away in in my regular fridge. In the main fridge, yeah. 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 I'm kind of the same way. I've got a little beer fridge in the basement, and I put stuff in there, and we don't go down there a whole lot, so I, it's easy to forget about it, which is you good know, and bad. You know what? This is easily, you know, right now as we're reviewing this, one of the one of the better Sam Adams. I ain't going to say best, but one of the better Sam Adams I've ever had. I mean, this is damn yeah. smooth. Yeah. Uh, if I were, re I'm, I'm giving this two thumbs right now. Bing, 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 bing. Right. I mean, this is awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. Mm -hmm. I love, you, you guys know I love browns. Mm -hmm. okay, because yeah. of their malty sweetness, their d drinkability. Now, this is a heavy beer. I don't, you know, we were just talking about steaks. I might have it with a nice spicy steak, tell you the truth, just to kind of counterbalance the spiciness of the mm -hmm. steak. Yeah. I would I would say I would have it with a steak just because of its heaviness. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like it, it's heavy like uh like a lot of stouts with the exception of Guinness. But uh man, this is damn good, brother. Let me tell you, you know what? This is dangerous like this because That's nine point five, you're not even tasting it, man. I ain't yeah. kidding you. you it's going down. Wow. Man. When you drink this fresh all you get hit with is the alcohol, and and you can hardly get past it. Yeah, I didn't know that was nine point five. Oh yeah, That's one man, of their is, special series beer. This is their imperial series. Oh, imperial. Yeah, I haven't had that. Yeah, it's a double buck. Okay, so oh, you're not getting any of the alcohol now. It's kind of mellowed out. Mm. Not okay. no, it is it is chilling. Right now, it's taking a quaalude, and it's so relaxed, you know what I'm saying, that it, it, it doesn't even know its name. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> For anybody that remembers those days. <laughs> okay. It's, it, it's, it's, it's mellowed, man. Let's just say that. You know what I'm yeah, saying? It's, yeah. it's, uh, 
it, it, man, this is not going to last long. I'm telling you right now. Speaking of not lasting long, Joe, oh. here you go. You guys seen this? The transit, the Venus transit of the sun. Oh yeah. Oh, are you kidding? That's all they've been talking about here. Yeah, there it is. The little black dot, which is Venus going across the surface of the sun. It, it's already started. I thought it was starting. Oh yeah. In another... It started at six, like six forty-five oh, Eastern okay. time. Oh, okay. And it's supposed to last a few hours. I mean, it's going to take a while. I, I guess it started like in the upper right, and it's going to go all the way over to the lower left. Okay. So it's going to take a while. But it'll be the not, last not, time we can see it in our lifetimes because it doesn't happen for another, another 100 years. years. Why yeah. is it so red? That's the sun. No, that's the filter. They're using a solar filter on the telescope. Ah, uh, but, but that is the sun, though. Yeah. Wow. That's really little, cool. That little black dot is Venus going across the sun. Yeah, that, that little black dot is the face different. of the sun, yeah. Right, is the planet going across mm -hmm. the face of the sun. That is cool. So there you go. So what, yeah. what position are you? is that viewing from? Uh, I think this is like Hawaii or something. Okay. This is the NASA, the NASA web, web feed. I, I think, once again, we're in the optimal viewing position, I think. Yeah, you, Albuquerque yeah. is really lucky. You, yeah, have you guys are lucking out this year. Yeah. yeah. All right, Joe, you made me so jealous. I had to uh, <laughs> I had to go get this. Oh, dogfish head? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's their uh, Palo Santo Moran, oh. which is 12. Yeah. That's oh, oh, look at him. Look at him. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. That's a fantastic beer. That yeah, is. This is actually a brown ale mm -hmm. that Ooh, they see, aged yeah. in that special wood from Paraguay. Yep. Which I actually was able to pick up a piece of it and sniff it and stuff. Mm -hmm. That stuff is as heavy as iron. I could not yeah. believe. Yeah, I know you did a video on that what, a couple years ago when you guys toured the brewery. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. man, that was amazing though. This is, I'm, man, this is. It's everything I can do to keep from killing this beer right now. It is fantastic. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh my God. So, Palo Santo, good, Gary. Yeah, it's, it's real good. I, I haven't had one of those in about a year. I, I tell you what, um, you do taste the 12%, but mm -hmm. but the thing about it is um, that aged in that wood, which gives it this really strong vanilla flavor mm -hmm. and a woody flavor, it kind of goes with the alcohol flavor, and it just it just it's so good, man. I'm telling you, it's yeah. real, real yeah. silky smooth and just mm -hmm. that's a great beer. <coughs> mm. Very. I need to beer, though. These I mean, that, that, talk about a chewy beer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah this is a dessert for sure. <laughs> Dude, there's so many lines I'm skipping right now. Yeah, I'm, just, yeah, like, yeah. I'm just skipping it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's a family show. No. I'm, 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 I'm skipping it all together. You know, I, I have the 18 and over uh, thing, you know, yeah. so kids can't you join. you got to remember, Joe, is this is going to be on the Internet forever. No matter what it's, we do. Somebody 50 years from now is probably going to look at this and go, what yeah. were they saying? Yeah, it, it's we'll be like 95. We'll be in wheel if we're still alive. We'll be in wheelchairs. You know. Yeah. Probably won't even know our own names. People yeah. are like, hey, I saw you on YouTube, man. Yeah, you, 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 you're exactly right. And I, <clears throat> you know, when I'm running for president, they may use this against me. Yeah. So yeah. I got to be careful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's but right. um. Uh, I, I gotta write all these beers down so I can tag this thing uh, properly. What, yeah. Uh, so your oh. drink is um, Coors Banquet, New Belgium Triple. Speaking of, I think I'm gonna go downstairs and grab another Coors. I'm, I'm reverting back to old school here. Hang on. <laughs> and and Gary, what are you drinking? Yeah, well, it's by Dogfish Head, and it's called Palo Santo Moran. That's P-A-L-O-S-A-N-T-O. Okay. It's two words. Okay. And Moran is M-A-R-R-O-N. Okay. My cool. first one was a six-point six Bengali tiger. Ah, okay. If you're going to tag, you might as well tag, man. <laughs> yeah, tag yeah, away. Yeah. <laughs> Bengali. Oh, man. 
that you you can do this and upload it, you know. Exactly, you know, it's but it's. Now, does the video upload as like an hour video? <clears throat> it does. And I don't know if you saw our last one, but it's it's up there the whole yeah. hour. Yeah. I actually saw part of it, but I I I think I. I don't know what I did. I wasn't sure what it was. I thought you were live when I watched it, but it wasn't, I guess. Yeah, no, I don't it, know. it was weird. It, it uh it's um I thought you were doing it at a different time. And it and it don't take long um to uh you to up to you know up. to get up there. It it was pretty darn fast. Hmm. Wow. And and what's cool is the quality is just I mean what's cool is it it's exactly what we're seeing right here. Yeah. I mean, it, and I love the way it, 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 you know, if you guys have noticed since we started with uh, Google Plus, mm -hmm. uh, the, the uh, what do they call this, the, um, how did I forget, Hangouts. Hangouts, yeah. Um, they've gotten better at whoever's talking kind of switches over. Like, you, mm -hmm. you can say something now, like you can, you know, kind of mm -hmm, or agree with someone without it switching over to you so much. Because at first it made me dizzy. Yeah, kept switching back and forth. Yeah. yeah. And you know, um, I just found out tonight that, like, when Mark had his, uh, he was showing his screenshot of the beer display. Yeah. And, but it wasn't showing on the big screen, so if I clicked on the little image... Because he wasn't always talking, so and I was trying to look at the picture. So if I clicked on the little screen, it just stayed there on the big screen. You know. Oh, oh, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, no, that's been a feature from the beginning. It, it'll go blue or something. Yeah, it was blue around the borderline. Yeah. And and then so when he was done with that, I just clicked it again and it went back to normal. Right. So it was pretty right. cool. Yeah, no, that's been a feature from the beginning, and uh, and that's awesome. You know. Mm -hmm. yeah, so many uh, stuff, you know, they ought to explain how to work it, you know, there ought to be yeah. a tutorial. <laughs> well, you know, um, I know you've been gone for a while, but almost every week we do a show, there's a new feature. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, it would, it, would, it. it would be very tough for them to, uh, they actually do have a, like a help thing. If you see down there in the bottom, uh, what is that, the right? Mm -hmm. Um there's a help oh, thing, yeah. or yeah. you can report an issue. Um, if you click that, I mean, you, you know, we'll see you later because you're going to be gone checking out all the extra. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Literally. I'll, I'll it, wait to click it then. <laughs> it, it takes a while because all the features that are in it now. Yeah. All um, right, so I went down to my six-pack. Oh, check it out. Cool. And this is the other can yeah. that I got. And I looked at all the other cans, and it was either... It, it was a six pack mixed between these two, you know, between the two cans. Yeah. Um, but this is the can from 1936. Wow. Wow. That is. Cool. Um, which was, let me see, it says, yeah, 1936 Heritage can. So this is what the Coors can looked like in 1936. That is cool. So yeah, that it's kind of cool. cool. And I like this. I mean, this is really cool. It's got a nice big font, kind of yeah. blocky. Looks kind yeah. of westerny, you know. You always see stuff that's kind of like a western. You know what? I almost feel like going out and buying that six pack if I yeah. can find it. That's pretty I'm, cool. I'm gonna keep a couple cans. I'm gonna keep one of each because it, it was three of each can. So I'm gonna keep yeah. one of each. And well, you know, actually now, it, well, maybe Gary can shed some light on this because I know uh, Anheuser Busch is big on Fourth of July, and I know they've got to be doing something special for Fourth of oh, July. Oh, they absolutely have. Mm -hmm. They have, and you know, I can't really say anything until it hits the markets. Especially <laughs> now that you got this uh, on on here for like ever. On the internet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, your boss will come back and say, "Yeah, what the heck? Man? Yeah, you the secret. Yeah, because yeah. you haven't released it. It, it. Well, for for those that don't know, because we do have some viewers. Um, for those that don't know, uh, Gary is actually in the Can Inc printing business, so he knows yes. a lot about, you know, not just beer, but also regular beverages as well. If it's canned, he has something to do with it, um, and uh, so he knows a lot about what's going on in the canning industry. Yeah. Yeah, so we pay Gary lots of money to give us inside tips. <laughs> yeah, 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 he's our, he's our insider, it, no. 
our <laughs> insider. He gives us the secrets. Nobody else yeah. knows. Yeah. Not that anybody would really care, but it's still kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> and, and there you just got a tip. I cannot quite say anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll check your local beer store next week because I'll probably have a bunch of July stuff out in the next week or so. Uh, All right. Yeah, no, actually, they don't even give me the dates that it's actually going to release. I just see the stuff because they print it before it releases, you know. All right, Joe. This can holds exactly, I mean, this glass holds exactly 16 ounces. Wow, look at that. No yeah, storage. That's that's a perfect holder there. Good thing it doesn't have any uh, foam on the top. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I think I got goosebumps, man. I, yeah, I, I, I'm going to show my old lady that segment of the video mm -hmm. uh, as like a tip. You know what I'm saying? See, I don't know if you saw the beginning of this video. I don't think you did. But, um, Pam, Pam got this glass in like 1972 when they went and took a tour of the Coors Brewery. Nice. So this is the glass they gave out at the end of the tour. Hold it up a little uh, higher. I want to see the bottom of it. Of the of the glass? Yeah. Okay. There's no. They didn't have lasers back then, Gary. They didn't have laser etchings. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know <laughs> that, but I just wanted to see if it was like the the kind of saucer kind, or that's that's a nice glass. It's got yeah. I mean, you know, for a free tour, you know, 40 years ago, not bad. It has a slight nowadays. margarita feel to it. Yeah, but it holds yeah. a full 16-ouncer. So, I mean, that, that's a positive. I never knew that. Oh, bro, I have to admit, I had a margarita-ish type drink the other day when we went to a, a margarita. Uh, oh, wait, wait, you got to hand in your man card now. Sorry. I, I, you do got to knock. Do you have an umbrella in it? Yeah, it, no umbrella, though. Okay. No umbrella. Right. You can keep it. So instead of 20 points off, it's only like 15 points okay. off. Okay. Yeah, you're fine. You can still keep the card. Um, but <clears throat> it was pretty damn good. It was a limerita. Mm. And, uh, you know, it was at a Mexican restaurant. Of okay. course, mm -hmm. we're, we're in New Mexico. Mm -hmm. But, um, oh, man, it was good. I, yeah. I almost ordered a second. It was. <laughs> was it on the rocks, salt around the brim? Rocks, salt, um, yeah, okay. That's what it and very delicious. Yeah. Yeah. Very delicious. You know what? Sometimes you just got to go for it, especially at a Mexican restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I was well, in Punta Cana. You're going to do my room. All the drink, girly drinks I had there. <laughs> you know, you had to because you would get a beer, a Presidente. That was the only beer they had. Yeah. And... It, it was so hot there, it would just get warm immediately, and Presidente, you know. So uh, I started well, getting gone, yeah. other drinks. I was trying all kinds of drinks, yeah. and it was crazy. Yeah. Mm. When in Rome. So oh, you yeah, were, in, uh, were you in Mexico? You were in Mexico again, right, Gary? No, this time we went to the Dominican Republic. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. Did you like that? Yeah, we actually liked it better. Okay, good. Um, you know, they're both all-inclusive hotels. Mm -hmm. um, the Excellence Hotel, which is an all-inclusive. Okay. And, uh, you know, it, it, they're both excellent. I mean, mm -hmm. I, you know, beyond excellent. It was, it was just great. Okay, cool. Now, now, uh, did you fly in or, or the cruise? No, we, we flew. Okay. I don't like cruising because it takes too long to get anywhere, and um, cruises you, you pay for your own drinks and everything. I, I just like to fly there and have everything served to me for nothing. Yeah. Okay. So you know, that's what I like. Yeah. Now, it, now with it's, uh, it, and my mom calls it the DR. Um, yes. When you go there, do you have to have full passport, or can you get by with that like smaller passport? I, I think now you have to have a full passport. Okay. I mean, I didn't try there. You know, I know the card that you're talking about, like yeah. to go into Canada. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At least a few years ago, you could get in with like a card, like a license thing. But I'm not even sure you can do that in Canada anymore. Oh. Yeah. You know, things have yeah, changed. I think they changed that a couple years ago where you got to have a passport. Yeah. Yeah, for you in Canada. Okay. Um, so you got to go full full bore. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> now, w if I'm not mistaken, when you go to, I've never been on an all-inclusive vacation. Period. So, 
uh, you know, the, the all-inclusive vacations I've been in are the ones that I, I, I pay. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. then they give you whatever you want. Pay by Joe. Yeah, they, you, you pay, and then they give you whatever yeah. you want. <laughs> yeah. But um, so, I, 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 if I'm understanding, do you like just take advantage of anything you want, and then you leave a tip after, or how does how does that Let work? Let me tell you, Joe. Um, I never did this before either. Till last year was our first year. Then this yeah. year we did a a repeat, and. Uh, I'm basically a tightwad, so when you pay for your vacation two months ahead of time, and then you actually go on vacation and you don't have to pay out another red penny, you know, you just uh, you just go there and you get any drink you want, anything you want to eat, room service. We had like six liquor bottles in our room. I mean, it's it's phenomenal. This what you get for it now. We did tip. We did some tipping, yeah. like a dollar, two dollars at a time, once in a while. Yeah. And then we did some extra excursions where we paid some stuff. But uh, you don't have to do that. It's just, it's so stress free when you don't have to pull out your wallet every time. And a couple of times, like for dinner, we would go at four o'clock and go again to dinner at seven o'clock. Yeah. And we would have two dinners. <laughs> I mean, we took we took full advantage. Believe me. Yeah, with a room yeah. service, and it was great. Yeah, that's very cool. I, we're we're thinking of doing something like that in the next year or so. So I might I might email you about that, Gary, because that's yeah, uh, man, I, that's I got it. it's great. I, I think we want to go and do something yeah. like that. I would well, recommend you, it. You got me talked into something like that as well. So yeah. what, what 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 are you talking here, uh, money wise? Um, Maybe a couple grand. Well, um, for uh, I think Mexico is a little cheaper. We did Mexico for the two of us, which included airfare, thirty-two hundred dollars. That's not bad, really. And you were there for five days or something like Seven that. Seven days. That's we not bad at all, really. Five days. Including we airfare. Did, and we did Punta Cana, Dominican Republic, for thirty-seven hundred. Okay. And, you know, that's two. That includes airfare out of New York and everything. So, you know, I it's mean, it's a lot of money, but it's not. That much for a week of but you know what you, you want. You have yeah. the, the comfort of knowing that once you pay, you're mm -hmm. done. You're done, yeah. And uh, yeah. you know, we, we took we took some cash basically to give them tips because they don't really need tips. But you know, when they yeah. bring you something special, you like to do something. You know, give them something that makes them really happy, and they yeah, get real sure. happy. You know, really, when you think about it, from here, the two of us could fly to like Cleveland for a week. Spend it in a hotel, and we we'd end up with like twelve hundred bucks. So I mean, really, I <laughs> know. not a bad deal. Yeah, Cleveland does. Yeah. Well, they have. I guess they have Lake Erie, but it's not quite the same. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, not quite the same. I, they do well, have the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, though. They 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 have that, and they have uh, not too far away. They have that amusement park. What is yep. that? Cedar uh, Cedar Point. Yeah. Oh my. Goodness, dude, that is my kind of. Oh, thing. that's like roller coaster heaven. Oh, I want to yeah. big time. That's like roller coaster geek world. Oh, I want to go there so bad, man. I, 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 oh, bro, I get pumped for that kind of stuff. Really, you like the roller coasters? Oh, huh? I freaking love it. I love yeah. adrenaline crap. I Let's love see. it. Yeah, I don't really know. Know. brother, and I went there a number of years ago, and oh my gosh, just a great time. Oh, I, I we went to I took I finally got a chance. This is several years ago to take my wife to uh, Six Flags, okay, Magic Mountain in in L.A. And mm -hmm. uh, oh, I was dragging her from roller coaster to roller coaster. Man, it was awesome. <laughs> Does she like roller coasters or not? No, not really. No. But she was a and good sport. Yeah, she was a good sport and and rode anyway. You know, uh, <laughs> I I. I Wish I wish like hell I had this video. She um real quick used to work at a rehabilitation place, uh, you know, uh, uh, what you call an old folks home. Um, and uh, she lent this video of us riding one of these things. Uh, they taped it. I went ahead and bought the tape and everything. Okay. Yeah. Because the whole time she's all, babe, no, please, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Oh, please, no. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it was just, oh, dude, it was great. I wish. But then I once, once she went, she loved it, right? Once it was over. 
No, not not not. No, no, <laughs> no not so much. Yeah. You know, but it, it w we would have won the ten grand on uh, home videos easy. Okay. So in other words, everybody at the uh, at the uh, at the home was really they got a kick out of watching her scream and yell. Oh yeah, they, they, you know they, they loved it. And this one this one poor guy he borrowed it and accidentally recorded over. That was the VHS days. Oh yeah. Recorded over it. Oh. Uh, you know. You needed a double VHS so you could record and make a copy as you went. You know, isn't that funny? Because we talk about digital so much and yeah. how if you don't have it backed up, you don't really have it. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. the old VHS days, if you didn't pull that tab on the back... Yeah. You were yeah. done. You yeah. were done. I mean, it yeah. could get recorded over, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I used to work, uh, right after college, I used to work in an appliance, uh, you know, in home entertainment sales store. And uh, we used to push those, the double VCR, so you can record. So you don't want to miss, you know, you want to record it, but you don't want to get it recorded over, so you got to buy the double one. <laughs> and it worked. Yeah. yeah. Well, now, now you just click copy and paste, and you're done. <laughs> yeah, hey, nothing like copy and paste, man. Command C, sweet. <laughs> I just did a really big blunder the other day. Uh, you know, we're trying to... We have two cameras here now, and I'm trying to, like, okay, if we're separate, let's both kind of vlog our day, and then I want to, like, combine them. Okay. But she went to the beach the other day, and I got her files and everything, and I know I downloaded them to the computer, but when I went to the folder, they are gone. They're off the camera, gone. They're gone from huh. there. I don't know what happened to them. Ooh. I mean, I just messed up big time somehow. <laughs> I wow. just went through a similar situation, not with myself, but a friend of mine went to a bike rally. There's a pretty big bike rally here uh, in Memorial Day weekend. Okay. And uh, it's actually north of here. What is it? Uh, not Angel Fire, but um, another. Taos? Not Taos. Uh, Red River. Red River. <clears throat> There's a big rally up there every year, and it's freaking huge. Banditos out of the ass, right? Mm -hmm. So, in any case, they went, him and another buddy of mine, they rode up there together, did all this, and he had pictures the whole weekend. Same thing happened, Gary. He came back, takes his thing, plugs into the computer, uh, folder is empty. Uh, and he yeah. had, you know, the whole t shirt up shop. Uh, I mean, he had everything. Oh, uh, no. You know, so, you know, it was a bike rally, you know what I'm saying? So, I was like, dude, this happens to me. I'm familiar with it. You know, give me your card. Don't do a damn thing to it. I'll recover yeah. the images. I, I swear to God, it's the first time I've ever seen it where usually I take your card and I can recover images off of it that are so old, you you just never dreamed yeah. that they were still on. Wow. His card was the first time I've ever seen a card just completely. Wow. Mm. What happened? Noth not, wow. Nothing on it have no clue what happened. Well, no. I have mine set up that when I copy the files from the camera folder, you know, the disk, sure. it, it automatically deletes the stuff on the camera disk so it's ready to go. So those, you know, as far as I know, they're off the camera. They're done. Mm. But then somehow they were not in my computer either, so oh. they just went to limbo. Oh, you know, yeah. was, Oh, well. Well, it wasn't as good as what you're talking about. There's no uh, shirt up and all that. You know. Yeah. Oh, well, maybe, you, know. well, you, missed, you missed the shots of her with her boyfriend while you were yeah. at work. But other than that, we were fine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah or, around her, around here we call it Sancho, you know. So you, you, you missed her with Sancho. The pool boy. Sancho. <laughs> Drinking all your beer. You know, you, you missed all that. You know, but other than that, I mean, you know, you, you, didn't, you didn't miss nothing, man. It's yeah. all good. Oh, boy. <laughs> Ah, you know, uh, it's such yeah. a, you know, I mean, it's all good. Though. Screw it. <laughs> but, oh, uh, yeah. All right, uh, guys, well, uh, I guess we'll call this another show, uh, 175. We're numbering them again, uh, Gary. Yeah, we, we figured last week was 174, Gary, so we're, we're at all 175 right. now. Well, thanks for uh, having me back, guys, and not yeah. saying, oh, no, you haven't been here. You're out. You're, you're, you're Oh, out. no, you never get kicked out of the club, man. <laughs> you're, you're out of the club, man. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> you you, you got to pay dues again. 
right. No, anybody's always welcome. We do share a beer, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern, every Tuesday, right here on Google+, Plus. if you want to join us live. Or you can watch, uh, I'm not sure, Mark, did, did it show up on your channel as well? No, no, I think I might go ahead and post it. If you, I'll just, I'll just copy the link over from yours okay. and post it okay. online. Yeah. So you, you should be able to watch it on any of our channels. I'm, I'm uh, Joe D, uh, JJ Davin on YouTube, and Mark? I'm Video Beer Reviews. And, and uh, Gary? I'm, I'm a so fat on YouTube. Right on. So you should be able to catch this on any of our YouTube channels and, and watch it at, at your leisure. Okay, man. Thank you for, for jumping in there, Gary. Good to see you again, man. All right. Good to see you guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Right. See you. Bye -bye. Yeah.